Hey guys, Mickey the Money Shaver here. Today I'm going to be doing a shave review of, I think it's pronounced Gorage, uh, shaving cream. It says lemon fresh, but then on the description, um, it says kickstart your day with a refreshing splash of lime. So it's either lemon or lime. Um, yeah, see right there it says lemon fresh. And then on the back it says lime. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is today is Citrus Saturday, so um, I'm going to be using my Vanderhagen uh, razor today with a um, Astra blade. The Astra blade is on, I think, the second shave? Harper, get out of there. Harper, you're in the shot. Your cute little whiskers are in the shot. And I'll show you how much I'm doing in just a second once I get it all off my finger. Get out of the plastic. We have one of those things that water bottles come in on the table and she's trying desperately to get into it. Um, the brush I'm going to be using today is the brush I have from Sterling Soap Company. It is my new favorite brush. This is how much I'm starting out with. This is my new bowl, by the way, from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to get rid of most of the water to start with. There's a fuzz in there. Hold on. It looks like one of your fuzzes, Harper. It lathers really quick. And I still can't tell if it's lemon or lime. It definitely smells citrusy. I'm starting to get more of a lime smell, so. Really quick, good lather. So. That was my wife stretching. And my cat knocking things off the, oh, for the love of Pete, Harper. Harper, get out of here. Get out of the... No. Yeah, it still smells like lime. You can't have that. That's shaving cream. Get off your mother's laptop. Harper, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, all right, so back to the shaving. Um, so I've got a good lather. Um, fair amount, and you can see there's no, like, big bubbles or anything like that. It feels pretty slick between my fingers. So let's get shaven. So my pre-shave today was a nice shower. Alright, I'm going to start with with the grain as usual. I just did something really stupid. Turns out it's not on the second shave of the Vanderhagen. It's on the no shave because there's not a blade in here. <laughs> I'm nerd. I know. Do you think your viewers think that your videos have gone downhill since me and Harper came into the picture? <laughs> no, I'm sure it makes it more interesting. <laughs> Besides, I don't know how much more downhill my videos could have gone. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, I'm not exactly experienced. All right. Let's try this again with a blade. Much better. Way better. Smooth. I know it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. Smooth, no jumping, no pulling. Um... You won't get a smell from that. You'll have to smell the lather. It says it's lemon fresh, but it smells like lime. Can you smell it? Can you smell lemon or lime? Both. I smell lime. I think... I don't know. You say you love me. I 
That was a really smooth. Sh blah, blah, blah. That was a really smooth shave. Really close. Actually, really enjoyable. It was really comfortable. Especially in the sensitive spots on my head. What? Oh, do you want to smell it? No. All right, now I'm going to be doing across the grain. Still a really smooth, comfortable shave, very close. The sensitive parts of my head are still intact and aren't sore or anything. And now we're going to try against the grain. I like how much lather there is. What's that? Did you get this from the place last week? Only. Ooh, that smells really good. If you're curious, it's from Old Navy. It says Kindred Goods, Blush Rose, and Peony. This stuff has no boundaries, says the bottle. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. Hair and body mist? Yeah, so your hair smells good, too. Well, I mean, I usually put perfume in my hair, but I've never seen a perfume bottle in it. Oh, I've seen it. Um, it was like, out of 10, it was like a one on the scale of irritation on the top of the top part of my head. Like I debated even mentioning anything cause I barely noticed it. It's still really comfortable. Oh, did I nick myself? I nicked myself. Still a really comfortable shave. One thing that I'm noticing is there's not a lot of slickness left. Maybe if you get it wet. Oh yeah, if you get it wet, there's slickness left. But like, if you're not getting it wet, there's really not much slickness left. So... That is something to uh, be aware of if you're going back for some touch-up passes. Um, you don't necessarily need to um, re-lather, but I would definitely get it wet and be careful. Um, speaking of touch-up passes, it's always this cowlick. Cowlick gives me so many problems. Even when I don't have hair, it still gives me problems. How silly is that? Um, all right. So, I think I'm pronouncing this right. Gorej. Um, not sure where this is from. Um, I'll look up how much it is and put it in the description. Uh, I don't think it's that expensive. I think I might have looked it up uh, a while ago. Uh, lemon lime, something like that. Some sort of citrus scent. Um, great lather, great shave. I would definitely give it a try, um, especially if it's within our budget. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, uh... yeah, peace.